Hello everyone, I am Torior and welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris as the Shell. I got extremely bored with colonizing, even though it is the way to go. I should just colonize everything, or at least colonize at least something everywhere so we can take over all of the galaxy. Uh, I have had enough of it. So we're now going to, to focus on military power. And actually survey some systems and so on. Do that as well. And probably construct some things, but I hear that sectors will do that for you if you let them, so maybe it's not a necessity. Are you building things actually, or are you not building things? You are building things. It seems like we've mostly done everything. I can send you up here though. There's some things to be constructed still. Not a lot of them though, and most of them are already being taken care of. Uh, oh, go here. Research stations, yeah. Research stations and... More research stations. And even more research stations. And find another place for you. Oh, here it is. Nope, there's someone here. There's someone here. This is not surveyed yet, right? No, it is now. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we can go here. It is now ours. There is debris here for some reason. Oh, it's a graveyard expedition. Yeah. I guess it's not a problem. Okay, you guys have completed your task. Continue killing aliens now. Right, and we are building battleships everywhere. Which will take some time, but which is the right way to go. So our colonists are on the way, they're con currently draining energy quite significantly. But uh, when they, well, we are colonizing seven worlds simultaneously, or even more, because those belonging to sectors don't show here. So, yeah. It will take some time, but soon it will all be good. We actually have enough uh, border power around here. We can just <laughs> take over the core as well. Also fleet engaged, yeah. Just the crystal en entities. I need to attack someone, but for that, I need more ships. Did I make sure to update the design completely? Mm, yeah, we did not research Warp Drive 3. So it is not crucial. Thrusters 3 we did give them. Um, am I researching advanced shields? Yes. I would like to give them to my ships before I attack, if possible. Or I can just build up more ships, I guess. Instead of upgrading the old ones. Because the upgrades, unfortunately, take a long time. I'd love to go to fastest, but the save games take uh, so much space because of the size and advancement of the galaxy. Okay, this won't take long. You just take care of them. How's the other fleet doing? Situation log updated. Pretty well, I guess. Colony established. Colony established. That should increase my energy income. Slightly. Oh, I do need to build up some more armies. Probably. But again, this is not something we need to rush. Fleet takes a much longer time to build. And it is also much more important. I kind of wish I went with the Xenomorph army, but I know it was not the right choice. It was a cool choice, but not the right one. Hostile fleet engaged. Okay, constructors are doing their thing, colonists are doing their thing. Mostly. There's a lot of nice worlds here, but I just can't be bothered to colonize everything. Why are my vassals not colonizing? Shouldn't they? Situation log updated. They should be colonizing. I mean, at least protectorates do. I don't know about vassals. Hostile fleet engaged. Now this counts as an extra colony, and we can have that. Uh, fortunately, it is a perfect moment to actually start a new sector going. Colony established. Let's get that happening. 
create a new sector. Oh wait a minute, am I still not? Uh, am I still producing arid colonizers? Entering orbit, moving, moving in orbit. It's a desert guy in orbit. It's an arid guy. Yeah, I I do keep producing them. I probably shouldn't be doing that. But I don't remember where they come from. Arctic. We did have someone for Arctic. Oh, that's a huge planet. You. I guess I can place you over here. Uh, right. We don't have more Arctic, right? I don't think so. Let's see. In orbit, we have desert. And arid, ready to colonize. One desert, one arid. Okay, there's an arid world. No, yes. Mm, arid world was this guy. Yes, orbiting. And now one more desert guy. Let's unpause this in the meantime. Here's a desert world, colonize. This is eating, eating into my income so hard. What? Minus 166? Are you serious? Oh, right, because I have too many planets. That's why. All of those things have been... <gasps> right, because we finished annexing the sector, finally. I need to create a new sector here, then. I'll give it everything. Create sector. Where was your capital? Let's see... This one, Deltius, this was your capital. You are now no longer a vassal, now you are a sector with a little bit of autonomy. Congratulations, I guess. I'm not giving you Zolda, I want that. Oh, is that the right system? Wait a minute, do I need Zolda? Zolda. There is no system here. I guess I'll give it to you then. Um, the sector in his name is Burnus. The Burnus sector. Yeah, you can have some minerals, I guess. Okay, cool. No longer a problem with the inefficiency. Now when this finishes being colonized, I think the borders should pop enough to incorporate this planet. I am not certain of it though. But this will certainly require a new sector. I mean, we do have many sectors, but it's not a problem merging them into one. It actually doesn't cost influence to merge sectors. We just have to do it properly. So yeah, here you go. I shouldn't given them should not have given them energy. Oh, stop your taxes. Wait a minute. Xerge sector. Is this this one? Yeah, you're not paying taxes to me either. Have some minerals. Hostile fleet in And you have System some minerals. Complete. You. Established. And you have some minerals as well. Come on, come on. Not energy, though. Minerals, please. Okay, now. Mm, only established, you say. So when this is done... Situation log updated. Uh, this actually seems like a good place for another one. Yeah, I should already start a new sector here. <laughs> I 
The save games just take so long, that's because it's a very large file at this point. I must remember that and always play on smaller maps from now on. Drought. Oops, oops, and Sati. Yeah, I can pay to save you from the drought. What do I care? Uh, right, so you. What is beautiful? Is that the Gaia planet? This looks like a Gaia planet. Oh, yeah, now we can expand the search sector. Here you go. And now it's no longer a problem. Hopefully we can have those systems. Probably be more elegant if they get those two. That is the Kritish sector. We can take that and that. It looks slightly better. Okay, this game is getting unplayable for me because of the slow FPS. I think I'm going to do my best at this point to get my ships good and tons of them. And then I'm going to challenge the Fallen Empire, I think. Because I have obviously made a mistake. Let's disband the constructors. I have obviously made the mistake of... Uh, picking a too large a galaxy, and my computer, which is a very strong computer, nonetheless cannot handle all of that simultaneously while also recording at the hugest galaxy size. So yeah, I'm going to probably be doing my best to challenge the Fallen Empire, and then we'll see. Maybe I can optimize it a little bit. Oh, what if I... What if I... Drop the multi sampling. I guess probably won't matter. Probably won't matter mm, because Colony this is, is a processor issue, and saving issue. Yeah, I think it would be fine if we were not playing on Iron Man because the saves take such a long time. Oh, or maybe, maybe there's a new, bu uh, actually I did have this bug a while ago, a long time ago. I think it might have been Europa Universalis 3, I don't know. There was a bug uh, in which the save files just wrote up on each other and become became bigger and bigger. So if that is the case here, Construction complete. you know what, I'm going to end this episode early and check if that is the case. Scientist gain trait. If that is the case and my save files are just becoming a gigabyte size, for example, then I can probably fix it quite easily. Or maybe I can un Iron Man this game. Because, yeah, I do want to continue it. I do like where we've gone and how powerful we have become. And I do want to challenge the Fallen Empires, which is the ultimate goal for me, usually, in such a game. Um, but. But this has gotten unplayably slow, and I don't want that. Anyway, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.